Hey guys, Tebow2 here with another episode of my TARDIS tutorial. Uh, this episode is going to cover uh, a concept that really hasn't been shown in Doctor Who, but implied many times that the TARDIS is um, not entirely just a normal machine. It is actually like alive in some fashion. Um, and I believe there were some other media that said that not only that, but TARDISes weren't actually built, even though they're machines to an extent, um, but they're actually grown somehow. And so I did have a suggestion asking me to make the TARDIS be able to be grown. And I thought that would be kind of interesting as like a way to get it in survival. Um, I haven't really implemented a way for this to work too well in survival mode, but uh, for now, this is the system I've come up with, so here is the TARDIS seed, and it just kind of looks like a squid spawn egg, but the point is you can place this down, and we have a TARDIS whose growth is at 0%, percent i will tell you that in the chat and with this name tag, and uh, it just kind of looks like some coral, <laughs> which I thought was somewhat fitting because um, one of the uh, things that implied the TARDIS could be grown was... Um, the Tenth Doctor giving the Metacrisis Doctor the uh, TARDIS Coral piece in, I believe, a deleted scene from uh, Journey's End. Basically implying that he could eventually grow his own TARDIS from a little piece of coral, which in this I just called a seed, but, you know. I thought it made sense. This looks like a seed more than anything else. I mean, or an egg, but TARDIS wouldn't make much sense if it came from an egg, since it's described as more like plant-like, I guess. And so... This takes about as long as a regular piece of wheat to grow, uh, so I can speed up its process. So I've just teleported the TARDIS down to the inner workings. Um, I don't know why the uh, random tick speed thing wasn't working, but uh, yeah, you'll kind of get a glimpse of how it works. Uh, it actually does use wheat as uh, kind of what it uses to detect how far along into TARDIS is in its age, so uh, the wheat's barely grown at all. So I'm going to use a command to speed up that process. So for example, if we head from age 1 to age 2, uh, it'll speed it all the way up to 29%, and it actually changes the color to blue, so a little more TARDIS-like. If we do it again to 3, I don't think anything happens. Uh, I didn't make like an animation for every single age, just periodically, so 4, 4 has an animation, so it changes to stained glass, which is a little glitchy in uh, falling block form. It's not my fault, uh, but it's at 57% now. And we do age 5, age 6, oh, 86%. And finally, age 7, because there's only 7 stages of wheat. And finally, boom, becomes a full-on TARDIS. And it actually did kill the previous TARDIS that we had, because uh, right now this world is only really, it'll it'll kind of like screw up really bad if there are multiple TARDISes, so I had it kill the other one and replace it with this new one. So yeah, this is technically a whole new TARDIS that we've just grown. And as you can see, the wheat is gone now, so how does this work? Um, well, we start with this patch of dirt with this uh, farmland here so so this command block is what right now gives me the TARDIS seed and how that works is we have this command in here uh, it's kind of a long one give at e give a squid spawn egg it can be whatever spawn egg you want and then there's this entity tag ID and the ID we put in was just uh, armor stand and then this is just the same stuff we put when we're just summoning a normal one so like custom name and custom name visible colon one I really don't have to show that off uh, it's kind of being difficult anyway so then you know invisible and vulnerable custom name but then the custom name is TARDIS 0% and then it's not really showing this, but uh, then you just do like comma and then display name, text, TARDIS seed, italic equals false. And basically that'll just make the squid spawn egg be called TARDIS seed. 
and the entity it's set to spawn is an armor stand named TARDIS 0%. And so uh, I want to show that off, so I'll just kill this TARDIS. Okay, so I've just set down a new uh, growing TARDIS, and yeah, it's at 0%, and as you can see, I have this thing checking if the weed is at age 0, so basically if it, if the, um, okay, so the next thing after uh, placing down that uh, TARDIS seed is that execute if TARDIS 0%, if that entity exists, then what will it do? It'll set wheat right here, and basically uh, you just wait for the wheat to grow, basically. And as the wheat grows, it'll set off more of these. So over here right now, what's set off is this, so it's testing for wheat with an age of 0 right there. And if it finds it, TARDIS growth 0% is what it'll tell you in the chat. And as it grows, the next stage, I believe, is right here. When it gets to age 2, then it'll say TARDIS growth 29%. And we have this command in here, data merge, that E name equals TARDIS, TARDIS 0%. And it'll do custom name, TARDIS 29%. So yeah, it'll basically uh, do some growing. And then over here we have these, which um, this is just... Same as a chameleon circuit, basically it just uh, summons the falling sand, which is uh, the tube coral fan, dead tube coral fan, which was the gray block we see right here. And then uh, I believe when it gets to stage 29%, uh, it'll be a normal tube coral fan, which is the blue, and then etc etc for all the different growth stages blue stained glass is next i believe that's at like 57 percent yeah and then this is for 86 percent it'll actually summon not one but two blue stained glass blocks and uh, again i'll just show this off to show you how it works and then i'll show you what the final stage is like so two and then i will skip all the way to four probably now and then I'll skip to five and then to six and you can see how that kind of progresses just like I said it would and then I'll stop here for a second so I could show you what the final stage does so this one is for the final stage so all this is pretty much exactly the same stuff it's just like gradually changing the name from one stage to the next as you see and then this one the final stage is right here when it finds the wheat age equals seven uh it'll go into all of these command blocks and what do they do well we have kill at e name equals tardis tardis demat tardis locked tardis fly and this one is tardis random so it'll kill all the existing uh states for the tardis in the world and at the same time it'll set the wheat block back to air so this is when the wheat is fully grown stage seven yeah it'll set it back to air to reset the whole thing and then repeater just to put a slight delay it will actually uh, reset some of the levers in the tardis just to make certain that the tardis uh the, the uh this is like last episode when uh, the tardis goes into an emergency landing and it resets all the levers um, to bring it back to like just a normal landed state. Um, so uh, yeah, it does all that. And then finally, it changes TARDIS 86% to just TARDIS. So it'll become a fully fledged TARDIS. And finally, TARDIS growth 100%. And obviously you put the repeater so that all this will happen uh, not at the, exactly the same time, but this is the final thing that happens is that it will rename it and finally go to the final percentage of growth. So let's do that real quick one last time to show it off for you. Age 7, boom, it's a fully fledged 100% TARDIS. And uh, yeah, I don't really know how you would obtain an item like this in survival. Uh, I don't know any of those like uh, custom crafting commands or any of those. Those things are really cool but kind of complex. But uh, it'll be cool to have a way to uh, find one of these seeds in survival or perhaps craft it. It'd have to be a really complex crafting re recipe, probably. 
But that would be a cool idea for when I release this as a map, I could do like a survival option where uh, you just need to craft one of these seeds and whatnot. But uh, yeah, that's all for this episode. TARDIS growth and the TARDIS seed. So uh, yeah, I have been Tebow 2 Goodbye.